So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and today I have a very very exciting video. It's a little bit out of season so do bear with me. If you're clicking on this video thinking this is a summery video and it's currently winter, at least it is in the UK, then please stick around because very excitingly I'm just about to go on holiday to Australia where it is summer. So this has kind of blown all of my wintry preparations out of the water. It is the reason why I'm not doing NaNoWriMo. So a few of you have been asking about NaNoWriMo and how's it going for me. I'm not doing it this year. It will be back in business next year, I'm sure. But I wanted to talk today about the books that I will be bringing on holiday with me. I'm going to Australia for almost three weeks and oh, I just need it, I can't wait. I haven't been on a holiday this year, so I'm desperate to be like just jetting off into the sunset and just yeah basically getting some sun so I've been quite ambitious however bear in mind I do have a plane journey that will take about a day 24 hours I mean what am I doing anyway so I imagine I'll get quite a bit of reading done on that flight and so I wanted to make sure that I was bringing enough books with me I'm going to be doing a lot of kind of like beachy stuff so I'll probably be reading quite a bit. I'm also planning to vlog when I'm out there and doing reading vlogs out there. So if you're excited to see those do let me know down in the comments and hopefully I'll be showing you guys what I'm up to in Australia which is very exciting. Okay so first let's kick off with the books that I'm going to be reading on holiday this year. So first is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. Now this came out probably a few weeks ago now and a lot of people have already read it. I'm only 135 pages in to this 900 page beast. I've just not had the time to like properly sit down and read this. So I thought that this could be my plain read on the way there. I think I'll be able to zip through this like quite quickly and it's just one of those books that I've been kind of anticipating for so many years but I'm also so terrified to read it. This is the last book in the Throne of Glass series. If you're new to my channel, hi I'm Lucy, I'm a Sarah J Maas addict and you will see lots of videos on my channel talking about Sarah J Maas. So it makes sense that obviously this is going to be my plain read. I am just a bit sad that I haven't read it sooner but Hopefully I don't get too emotional on the plane. People might be a bit concerned. Anyway, it's fantasy, it's chunky. This will hopefully get me through a very long plane ride. Okay, so there are three more books sitting on my lap. Basically, I'm also going to be bringing my Kindle. So that will allow me to do lots of work reading. If you don't know, I work for a book publisher. So lots of reading to be done when you work for a publisher. So my Kindle will be used for work reading and also kind of like romance. So I often download like historical romance and stuff to read on my Kindle as I find it just easier to get through. But anyway, I am loading up my Kindle with lots of romance and lots of work reading. So I'm not gonna talk about those, but who knows they might feature in a reading vlog that I'll do out there. So next up is Normal People by Sally Rooney. So this was actually shortlisted, I believe, for the Man Booker Prize here in the UK. And I have not heard people like stop talking about this book. I mean, if you're in the UK and you're kind of in the book world, I'm sure somebody will have recommended normal people to you. So basically what I think this is about is it's about a very intense love story between two people, but the description says, normal people is a story of mutual fascination, friendship and love. It takes us from that conversation to the years beyond in the company of two people, funny magnetic complex who try to stay apart but find they can't. It shows us how difficult it is to change who we are. And with heartbreaking tenderness, it reveals how we learn about sex and power, the desire to hurt and be hurt, the desire to love and be loved. So that sounds like perfect beach reading to me. So I will let you guys know on one of my reading vlogs what I think about this one. Okay, next up is a sequel of a book that I've recently finished and adored. It is Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. So this is the sequel to A Discovery of Witches, which is part of a three-part series. And the series is currently a TV show, of which the first season has just finished. And I absolutely loved the book. I read it after I saw the first two episodes of the TV show. 
Oh my god guys, it's basically like grown up Twilight. I think I've talked about a discovery of witches on this channel before, but I have not yet got round to reading Shadow of Night, which is the second book. It takes us to Elizabethan England and follows Diana, who is a historian and a witch, and her kind of partner, Matthew, who is a vampire, and all, all the crazy stuff goes down. So I'm very looking forward to kind of like get through this on the beach and just like, it's very kind of, you don't have to think about things, but it's also such an adventure. And I find that I'm really gravitating towards kind of fantasy adventure at the minute. So I am very much excited to read the sequel. I've heard that this is some people's best book in the series. So I'm really, really excited to get around to reading this one. And finally, the final book I'm gonna pack in my suitcase because I'm looking at it right now, it's not that big. So I thought I'd limit myself to four books and it is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. So this is actually a fairy tale retelling. It's inspired by Russian folklore. And this is a book like normal people that people are just constantly talking about. Catherine Arden is an author who a lot of people really, really love. It's like one of their favorite authors. And I think this is the first of three books in this kind of folklore series. So I'm really excited to get around to reading this. I think it'll be very escapist and kind of perfect for this time of year, even though that might be a bit confusing because I'll be in like 30 degree heat over there. But anyway, I'm very, very excited to read this and actually just like get around to reading a Catherine Arden book because I believe her third book in the series, I can't remember what it's called, but I think that comes out very soon. So I'm buzzing about this one. Hopefully I'll love it and do let me know if you've read any Catherine Arden as well. So guys, that is it for my holiday reading list. Thank you so much for watching and do let me know if you've read any of the books I mentioned in this video today. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more bookish videos and I will see you very, very shortly. Bye guys.